Welcome to Voodoo Whiskey Gaming, and this is my late review of Red Dead Redemption 2. I played it on the Xbox One, it's available on the PS4 as well. So I'm just going to say it now, don't expect me to cover every little detail in this game. It's a huge game with a ton of detail and just so much going on that I'm not going to be able to cover everything. Obviously because Red Dead Online is not even active yet, I'm only going to be talking about the single player. So let's start with the story. You play as Arthur Morgan, who is a member of the Dutch Vanderland gang. And he's obviously been in the gang for a very long time. He's very important in the gang. He's the guy everyone goes to when they want to get a job done and he gets it done. He helps get it done. He's honestly a really cool and interesting character, but this takes place in a very interesting time. I say that because I wouldn't say he's fully disillusioned with Dutch, but he doesn't feel the same way as Dutch does about a lot of things, and he's not sure if he fully endorses Dutch in what he's doing now. He gets to meet a very colorful cast of characters throughout, whether they're strangers, just folks in town, or the other members of the gang. They're really interesting and they're all very well done and really well fleshed out, honestly. You get to walk around the little camp and talk to them. You get to hear backstories from them when you're on your way to missions. Honestly, it's just, it's really impressive the way this group is done. Looking at it just from the storytelling, it's really impressive that they were able to do this with all these different characters. I'll be fully honest, I haven't even finished the story yet. It's a huge game and it's very easy to get distracted. But the story thus far has been really interesting and I'm really curious to see where it goes because honestly, it's just all so well told. So let's get into the audio. The audio is wonderful in this game, from the sound effects of the animals, to what's going on in the town, to the music, all of that, everything that is ambient and helps build on the world, every bit of that is so well done. It does exactly what it needs to do. Then you've got the voiceover work. The voiceover work, I have yet to hit a bad spot of it, honestly. Maybe that's just because I haven't been absolutely everywhere in the game. I do take that back. There was a couple of lines delivered by one of the postmen when I was paying off a bounty that weren't amazing and that's about it. It was like two lines. But seriously, throwing that aside because you easily can, everything else is so well done. It's just such an impressive game. As for the gameplay, it's an open world adventure western shooter. Man, you can play it first person if you want to or third person. And I will say this now because this was a complaint I had with GTA 5. I really loved the first person mode in GTA 5 except while I was driving or flying and you couldn't easily switch between those two throughout a mission. Maybe they finally fixed that in the settings, I don't know, but I do know that Red Dead Redemption 2, from the start, has settings so that if you want to play in first person, it will switch to third person automatically on a horse or when you're driving a carriage. So that is a huge bonus in my mind. The map is really quite large, and it's not overly full, which I enjoy. I love all the random encounters you can get to while going from point A to point B, as well as the strangers you find along the way. This game very much has a mission system, so you go talk to somebody, you get a mission, you go do that mission, whatever it may be. It could be robbing a bank, it could be transporting something, it could be hunting. Which then, let's get into that. There's the hunting, there's the side games, like playing poker, or five finger filet, or dominoes. There is just so much to do in this game that it is honestly nuts. I mean, you can go into the small minutia of however you wanna get your hair done, shaving yourself, fixing up the camp, just all sorts of stuff. It does strike a good balance of having a ton to do without feeling overwhelming and daunting. Now I'm gonna address the only two problems I really ran into with this game. The first being that when you're riding from one place to another, your horse doesn't really stay on the trail like it did in the first game. I really enjoyed that. It made life a lot easier, especially when you're doing long distance travels. If you are following an NPC to a mission, you can kind of get side by side with them and your horse will do a good job of auto navigating, but it's still not quite as good as it was in the first game. So that's always a little bit of a sad thing when the first game does something better than the second game. The next, and this has happened to me 
on multiple occasions is during a mission I won't be able to proceed for some reason or another. One time I wasn't able to put a guy on the horse like I was supposed to. One time I had killed everyone and it just didn't do what it was supposed to do to let me go on to the next thing. I think the NPC I was working with on that mission got stuck or something like that. I don't remember exactly, but... I've had to flee the mission area, fail, and then retry. So that was a little frustrating. It's only happened a few times, but it's still obnoxious when it does occur. Let's get on to the controls, which for the most part work very well. Whether I was playing first person or third person, I didn't run into any major issues. The biggest problem I have had with the controls is generally on the horse. The horse can be a little unresponsive at times or a little too sensitive. Sometimes he doesn't necessarily turn as much as you'd like him to, and other times he turns way too much he or she i currently have a girl horse and because of that i obviously know nothing about the horse testicle engine that they put into this game but that's besides the point when i'm shooting when i'm running around when i'm hunting when i'm just doing whatever on foot it is all very well done very responsive it all just works amazingly when i'm shooting on the horse that works very well like i said though steering the horse at times can be a little garbage I gotta admit, the controls for this game, there's a lot, because there's so many tasks and you do different things for every different task, but they all feel very natural and they all work very well. Lastly, the graphics. Honestly, this isn't the best looking game I've seen on this generation, but holy shit, is it an amazing game in the details. While it may not be the best looking in every aspect, the amount of subtle little details in everything of this game is just mind-blowing. There was a part where I was out in the rain and I could see the lightning and the lightning just looked more realistic than I've ever seen in any video game ever. The way the animals move in this game, the amount of detail in the horse, you can see the musculature of your horse while riding it in just amazing detail. The faces on the characters, the way they move when they're speaking, the way their eyes look, it's disturbingly realistic, honestly. It's just some of the smaller details in like trees and leaves that aren't quite there that I've seen in other games, but that being said, the whole world itself, all the small details, the horse prints in the freaking mud, the boot prints in the mud, the weave of like what your character is wearing, all of that little detail just breathes an extra layer of life into this game. From a visual standpoint, like I said, it's not the best looking game I've seen of this generation, but it is amazing. To wrap this up, it's very simple. This is a near perfect game. It is absolutely amazing. I have loved playing every moment of it. It's obviously a recommend. How could it not be, honestly? I don't care if you don't like westerns. I don't care if you don't like shooters. I don't care if you don't like video games. It's worth playing. Okay, so in the comments below, why don't you tell me who your favorite character was from the first Red Dead? And I mean Revolver. I don't mean Red Dead Redemption. And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And if you like what I'm doing in general, share, subscribe. Have a good one.